You caught me, family. You caught me. We got serious topic this morning time. Now, I just want to let my brothers and I want to let my sisters know when you are in a committed relationship or a marriage and your spouse is being unfaithful to you and you love that brother, you love that woman. Sister, you love that man. You would do anything for that man to make sure that they are right. Now, if they're being unfaithful to you, God will send you down a spirit and he will make you jealous and in a rage before time. You didn't brother. You wasn't feeling nothing about that girl like that. You wasn't her cheating on you was the last thing. And, and you know, this doesn't apply to crazy people. Crazy people going to be crazy no matter what. And they going to think you cheating on them no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're crazy. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the other people. Now, when your spouse is being unfaithful, you have to imagine your God. He has all these different spirits that he sends down to plague man. Is it a spirit of death? Is it a spirit of healing? Is it a spirit of redemption? But one of the main spirits that he sends down on a committed relationship is the spirit of jealousy. Sister, you ain't never felt jealous over your man, but God sent you that spirit to warn you, to tell you your man is cheating on you. Now, if you can, if you continue to be with that man and he continued to cheat on you, he's going to curse you and him. He's warning you. That's your warning. When he send you that spirit, he's warning you. Hey, hey, child, I love you. But if you don't fall back, if you don't leave him alone, I'm going to do something to you. I know, son. I know, son. I know you love her. I know you done did everything for her. I know that you love her with all your heart, your mind and your spirit. But if you keep on messing with that woman, I'm going to do something to you. And then it's a shame, family. It's so many different things that he'll do to a person. He'll confine you. He'll make you lose your damn mind. He'll make you go crazy. He'll make you, he'll have the people plund and plunder you, family. You'll be pillaged, family. You'll be pillaged and plundered, family. You, you, you go to see your car in the morning time, it's gone. You go to see your bank account, it's gone. Family, he'll get you fired on the job. He'll turn your enemies against you. One of the most coldest things that God will do to a, a cheating person is he'll cause dysfunction to happen amongst the children in your family so you'll have a dysfunctional family those are just a few things besides from the fact that he'll let you die out here in this world if you cannot control your sexual orientation okay now hold on family hold on that's just what i just i want to say to y'all about relationships y'all know how i feel about adultery you know how i feel about fornication. you know how i feel about people being so damn lucivious in their sexual activities you know how i feel about people being so loyal in their sexual activities you know how i feel about whoredoms from a man whoremongering from a man harlotry from a woman hoard them from a woman you know how i feel about those things the last thing i say about a relationship is the best thing that you can do to keep the devil off you because you gotta imagine when the devil see you in a, in a committed relationship he always sends covetous people to destroy your marriage or your relationship the only thing that you could do with your husband and do with your wife brother i'm talking about you and your wife sister i'm talking about you and your husband the only thing that you can do to strengthen your marital bond is to fast and to pray with your spouse that will cut off the head of the snake when he try to slide on in family and send all them covetous people after your husband and after your wife give me a second family too much all right how many years is too much of an age gap between two people dating each other over the age of 18 is it 10 years 20 years 30 years let me know now let me ask a brother question. He he a little bit he a little bit older than me. He probably got me by five years. He probably five years my senior. Now, automatically, I have children that are in their twenties. I would never want to be with a girl in her twenties because that's too damn young. I'm forty plus. You know what I'm saying? I'm forty plus. You know what I'm saying? That's a baby. That's a don't get me wrong. I understand that children some children are more mature than other but last time I, what i what i read about what god said about people god said that people my age that we have we have a conscience no hold on we have a consensus the younger people have a conscience family 
No, no, I said that wrong. My bad, my bad. They have the consensus, family. We have the conscience. I'm aware of everything. Before I make a decision, I'm going to think about all the variations of anything that could happen wrong. I've been on this earth for a long time. Now, the younger people, they don't think like that, family. They, they don't, family. They barely coming into their own consciousness of who the hell that they are. So we can only expect them to have this consensus that they have, family. It is not the same. So the maturity level, them people, them younger people, they still young, family. They only, they only, they, what, what, what was said, family? A consensus, that's all they got, family. They can only look at the world and they got a consensus, family. We have conscience. We are aware of every single thing around us. What I do know is that, let's use David for an example. When David married uh, Abigail, she was exactly 10 years older than him. I know that if I, if I marry an older woman, it's because of wealth. She has to have a, a large bit of money, you know what I'm saying? She got to have wealth to add to me. That's the only reason why David went up 10 years over over the woman that he was married because she had great substance family she to add to david now as you look at let's let's bring somebody else in here look at look at uh abraham abraham and, and anna now abraham was 99 when he had a kid uh his wife she was 90 years old so he went 10 years down so for a man, a man can either go up 10, he can go up 10 years or he can go down 10 years. But far as in dating somebody 20 years older than me will have nothing in common. Okay, I was born in 81. I could jump all the way down to 70, uh, 71 and still have things in common, common ground, commonalities and how we were brought up. Now, I can, I can, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I said down when I should have said up. I can go up. I can go up 10, 11 years, but that'll be the max, family. I can go down another 10 years. I can mess with a woman that's in her 30s because we still have commonalities. We still have a common ground that her music that she listens to, the shows that she listened to, the era that she was brought in is kind of similar to my time and my era. So the answer to, bro to Big Brother question here is a man can either go 10 years up or he can go 10 years down. Ain't no way in hell a man can mess with a woman that is in her 20s. And they'd be like, well, you know, Jehosa, what if he having midlife crisis? Well, you know, Jehosa, you know, women, they say women don't have a midlife crisis, but they do. I understand that. It doesn't matter. I would be, excuse me, I would be out of place to mess with somebody 20 years my senior. I would be out of place to marry somebody 20 years above from my own self. So let's listen to bro question again, one more again, and I'm out. All right. How many years is too much of an age gap between two people dating each other over the age of 18? Is it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Let me know. Well, just one more time, family, one more time, because I want you to get the gist of what he's All right. saying. How many years is too much of an age gap between two people dating each other over the age of 18? Is it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Let me know. Judgment comes for you, why do you kind of do when it ain't nowhere to hide? When judgment comes for you, cause it's gonna, I, I should have put the party, please this is something to Charlie, and the booth is last money, and I'm gonna miss.